Hola, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Daniel here from Second Chance Love, and I am back with another fabulous video. Happy New Week. I hope that this video finds you guys well and that you had a wonderful weekend. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love and appreciate for you guys to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my videos. I am so, so close, so, so close to reaching over, I think reaching 800 subscribers. I am almost there. So if you haven't subscribed, I would love and appreciate for you to think about it and hit that subscribe button. I'm just so excited to get to my next milestone, you guys. And I want to thank each and every one of you because, of course, I would not be here if it wasn't for you guys. So let's go ahead and get the formalities out of the way before we get with uh, today's haul. So today's haul is going to be an estate sale um, haul, you guys. It's going to be kind of short. I don't have too many items, but um, some of them are going to be filmed off camera, which you guys will see in the video because they are too big and bulky. Like I can't show them like I normally do with everything else here. So you guys will see what I found. Me and Joe went to a few estate sales um, the few weekends prior to him leaving to Texas. If you don't follow my hubby, make sure to head on over to Thrift Sense LA and subscribe to his channel as well. Check out his videos. So that's what's going on today. Just some estate sale thrift finds that I'm very excited because I got some really good deals. And that's what I love about estate sales is that you will not know what you will find. And it's always good to go on the last day because they normally do like a 50% off on all the items. So that's where you can find some really, really good treasures and items for a really good buck. So as always, let's go ahead and get started with our comment of the day, which will be right here as always. And today's comment is going to go out to Mary Caswell. Hi, Daniel and Jill. Great video. I love, love, love the vintage Halloween and Christmas. I just found an Anthropology G mug. Yay, Mary. I love those mugs at Goodwill today. I watch every video of Laura and Janine, which they are from Shiny Bright Doggo, another amazing channel. Definitely check them out, you guys, if you haven't already. They are so amazing with estate sales and thrift finds and so much more. They are awesome. I will check out Joe's channel. Thank you for sharing. Stay safe. So, Mary, thank you so much for your comment, my friend. I appreciate you watching our video. And I just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the love to my video and my channel. And I also wanted to share with you guys the most amazing gift i have received from one of my subscribers and friend and celeste davis my friend i absolutely absolutely adore what i'm about to show you guys it's absolutely beautiful absolutely absolutely beautiful so i got this in the mail again from celeste she is just such a wonderful soul thank you so much my friend you you the letter you sent me and this amazing artwork is just everything and i cannot thank you enough words cannot express how much i really appreciate you sending me this and your beautiful card i'm gonna keep that between celeste and me you know what she put on the card but all i want to say is that i really really appreciate your friendship that we have developed here on youtube and i just i i just i'm so thankful so so thankful for what you sent me so i'm going to show you guys she sent me this handmade sign so she used one of the target um, dollar spot like house signs and she embellished it with the most beautiful things so she used the wood tiles to do bella's name my name and then joe look at how creative this is this is absolutely beautiful she put the love with the key right here the crosses which if you guys see my videos we do have a cross wall and um crosses are very uh, significant to us she also put more of the love signs here she included little paw prints and even a little um emblem that says do all things with love and it did have uh bell and the beast here but it accidentally fell off during shipping Ugh, darn shipping but i will definitely go ahead and glue these back on my friend don't worry I absolutely, absolutely adore this and I cannot thank you enough. I just love the greener on the top right here. I am going to find a special, special place in our home to put this and display it because again, it's, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for sending this to us. 
it just means so much and me and joe really really appreciate you celeste so much and you also sent me i know where this is going this is gonna go right on my refrigerator so she also sent a magnet that i know where i'm going to put and it's chicago look how pretty this is i've never been to chicago but i hope to one day me and joe always try to you know go to new places in the u.s um before we hit up international um i hope to eventually you know international travel would be my first place because i've been wanting to go to disneyland paris i really want to go to europe or maybe italy we were supposed to go on our honeymoon originally but it didn't really work out it wasn't because of COVID or anything it was before COVID, but it just didn't work out so we still have an italy trip pending but thank you so much again my friend celeste i really really appreciate these loving gifts so let's go ahead and get started with the haul you guys so one thing about estate sales is um there's a lot of opinions on estate sales a lot of people like doing them a lot of people don't um there's a lot of mixed feelings you know emotions that have to do with estate sales let me know in the comments below if you guys have ever done an estate sale let me know how you feel you definitely find some amazing prices i um some of these items that i'm going to actually do i have any yes one of the items that i'm going to show you in the haul which is in another part of the video is an item that i found from this family that i knew uh, it was an older couple and i if you guys remember i used to work with my dad when i was younger as a gardener he's a landscaper and he has his own business so these were his friends customers you could say and they were no longer here in the in california they're still alive which you know thank god they are still alive but they're unfortunately no longer able to live by themselves so they had to move out of state where they are being taken care of at a facility so i knew these people i grew up with them you know every summer i would see them so walking in through their home and seeing all their personal items it was just a little emotional for me because it's really sad you know you see all the life you see a person's life in this entire home and that's why estate sales for me are very sentimental because you are you know you're digging through you're going through all the items that they've that they've had in their whole lifetime and you find mementos and you know special moments you know a lot of family memorabilia or travel stuff and you know mementos from traveling and it's it's a roller coaster it really is uh, but of course me and joe go in with the most utmost respect and i know a lot of people do too and again not everybody you know because they're having an estate so it doesn't mean that they have passed away it sometimes might be because they want to declutter or they're moving out of state so they have too much stuff and they just want to you know not take everything with them so you always have to keep that in mind but I didn't film anything again because I didn't feel comfortable filming with estate sales because I feel like there's a lot more people versus being in a thrift store. You kind of, you know, sometimes are on your own. So I just have a few goodies that I'm going to show you and then a few videos that will pop in in place of items that obviously were too big for me to show you here on camera like this. Uh, but the very first thing that I have, you guys, is this really cool Disney piece. You guys know that I'm an absolute Disney, Disney fan. This was actually from an estate sale from my parents' street where I grew up. So there was a home that they were having an estate sale right down from my parents' street and we, me and Joe popped over and I found this. It says manufactured collectively in the United States and Canada. So it says this plaque was reproduced from a piece of Walt Disney Studios hand-painted limited edition animation art. Working with original animators, drawings, and film reference artists at the Walt Disney Studios carefully hand painted each piece in a in such limited editions this plaque is not a limited edition so i want to say it's interesting so it's not a limited edition it's saying the plaque itself but i think the print so i think the print you know was just maybe put on here because this is one of 350 on the corner and then the other corner says the walt disney company it's very very tiny right here and then right here but i just couldn't pass this up i think i cut this only for 99 cents because a lot of times what they do at a state source is they'll bulk everything just like if you guys saw that video with me re um joe's reactions when he did it with me 
um they just bulk everything so that's what kind of happened with this with these items the next up is this little plastic nativity scene you guys know that i absolutely absolutely love christmas vintage unfortunately it did break here there's like a leather piece right here that's supposed to be closed off right here and it broke when i brought it home mm. but again it was a bulk price i don't think this was more than maybe two or three dollars this was um made in hong kong so it's absolutely so cute i love it it just needs to be cleaned out hello you can't see my eye but i just thought it was so pretty i love all the colors it's still very pretty and i love 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 this at the top and actually you know what i'm sorry this was at another estate sale the one where i got sentimental because i knew the family this was theirs so this was very very pretty and that lady again also bulked everything so who knows how much everything was individually i also found these very interesting but cute little handmade firecrackers i thought you know what it's coming you know it's gonna be fourth of july soon so i'm like why not so we found these at an estate sale you can tell that somebody handmade these and it's so cool they even made the string you know that ignites curly and it's so cute with the details this one is so adorable too it was obviously hand painted look this is curled too so adorable i couldn't pass them up i thought they'd be so cute in the hutch or somewhere in my home so I bought them too. The last item before I throw in the other clips is this basket. This is the one that I found at my parents' street estate sale. This was a really, really cool basket. It was in the front of the entrance to the home and we were already leaving and I'm like, I was going back and forth of whether or not to buy this. So I thought, you know what? This is really perfect. I just need a deep clean it and it could be a great place to store Bella's toys in, you know, in the living room. That way they're all stacked and neat in one area and she can just grab them out of there if she wants them. So I thought, you know what? Why not? And I think, again, it was like a bulk price. It was, you know, a, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, a television. That's why I couldn't show it. It's so it's like a mini TV, but I can't carry it in front of me right here. So I got the television and these items combined with that uh, estate sale. So what a good find. I love, I love this good size basket. But let's go ahead and roll the next few videos and I'll be back with you guys. You guys, so I am very, very excited for this Piece right here I just cannot wait until I start styling it inside so it has one two three four sections for me to put things in and I thought what would be the best thing to put in here and yes it's going to be all of my Ray Dunn vintage pieces the pieces that are going to be staying in my collection forever that will not be resold and I just wanted to, you know, I thought this was going to be such a beautiful way to display all of my amazing pieces that I just want to show off because again, they're all, most of the majority are all thrifted finds. So I thought that this piece of furniture was so perfect for that idea. And it's going to be showcasing all of my amazing Ray Dunn pieces again that are very vintage and hard to find. So I might switch them out uh, depending if the item is in season, if it's like a holiday item or during uh, springtime or, you know, like summer, whatever it may be, or if it fits into my farmhouse line, I'm going to go ahead and display them here. And then when, when the season comes, then I'll go ahead and uh, take them out and then place them back in when the time comes. So I am going to go ahead and buy some risers because I do have a lot of space to work with at the top levels and I want to create layers. And again, I cannot believe that I got this for $10, you guys, at the estate sale. So crazy, definitely worth it, and I'm so loving it.
Okay guys, so another estate sale find was this amazing TV. It's a 32 inch TCL brand television. It's a smart television and it was such an amazing find and I'm going to tell you why. It's basically brand new. So this was at a second estate sale that we went to, me and Joe. Sorry, some of the cables hung to the back. And it was actually on my parents' street. So the street where I grew up, they were sent a state sale. And we were dropping off Bella and my, me and Joe were like, oh, let's go check it out. You, you just never know where you're going to find. So this was one of the items. And again, the 32 inch smart, smart TV. It has um, like so many apps, Netflix, Disney Plus even. So this is very, very brand new. It did come with a control and they added an HDMI cable. It was insane, you guys. $20. $20 for this basically brand new TV. It works, everything is fine, and it's such a crazy steal. It was originally $50 at the estate sale, but because we did go on the last day, they usually always do normally like a half off sale or something like that. That's what's so cool about estate sales. And they, marked it down originally it was going to be 25 dollars, but me and joe are kind of like mm, should we take it should we not and the guy's like i'll do 20. so we're like okay what better deal can that you know what better can it get than 20 dollars for this television and i did look up comparables for this brand selling and it still sells in store we're looking at the 150s and more so 150 dollars 20 dollars that was such an insane price so this little TV is going to actually go into our workout room, which I actually have another item that I'm going to be sharing with you guys in just a bit. So one of our main goals of 2022 was supposed to be to lose some weight. So me and hubby Joe are very, very far off from that goal, but things have changed because we went to another estate sale. This was on a different weekend and it was on a Sunday, the last day. And we found this amazing steal. We couldn't believe it. We were so excited and we just couldn't wait until we brought it home. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we found. This is the item that I am talking to you guys about. It is the Nordic Track Elliptical. Oh my gosh, let me tell you, this thing weighs so much bringing it up. <laughs> There's Bella on the side. And you guys, this machine was marked for $500 at the estate sale. It's literally almost brand new. The person that was selling it, they were not related to the family in any way. They were just setting up the whole estate sale. Said that the person who had it only had it for a couple of months and then moved out and just ended up buying a new one instead of taking this with them. So I couldn't believe it. Joe couldn't believe it. It was $500, but they were able to bring it down to 200 200 dollars you guys it was supposed to be 250 because remember the last day which is the day we went it was on easter sunday it was supposed to be 250 because it was 500 so half of that but hubby you know works his charms as always and told them how much would you give it to me and they said take it for 200 and it's yours so we grabbed it I am just so ecstatic. I'm going to be able to finally exercise and then be able to jump on and just watch some television on that little TV and work out and finally work on my goal of losing weight for 2022. Wow, you guys, right? I'm telling you, you guys have to check out estate sales. Definitely, definitely, definitely hit up your area. Um, I go online and I think it's called estate sales finds.net something like that i don't necessarily remember the exact name of the um, website that i use but i'll go ahead and link it down in the description box below hit up that 
um, website, you know, you just type in your zip code and it will pop up a bunch of estate sales occurring in your zip code around you. You can change the mile radius and everything. There are two types. There's usually a lot of the ones that uh, have a list sign up where you have to sign up at the beginning of the morning. Some people get up crazy hours, wake up before six o'clock in the morning because that's usually when the sign up list starts or maybe six or seven before it even starts. The estate sales might start like around nine or 10. So there's people that wake up at four or five in the morning. They go early, you guys, like seriously, seriously, especially if there are pictures. If there's pictures, which normally a lot of the state souls do, they'll put the, uh, pictures in the listing to show, you know, to attract attention, attract people to come in to check them out. And if there's a lot of uh, collectibles, you know, a lot of stuff that's gonna go for a lot of money, then most likely chances there's gonna be a lot of people. Me and Joe, usually like doing the ones where you don't require a sign up sheet you just go in when it starts and you know they let in a few amount of people at a time or they might just let everybody in it just really depends on the company or whoever's running it it's usually a third party from the family maybe it might be the family it's just a bunch of variations but definitely check out estate sales you just might be surprised what you will find you know as you know witness to the items that I found, it's crazy. We did not get these items for a lot of money, I feel, for what they're worth. It's crazy. But I hope that this video inspires you guys to check out an estate sale because they are a lot of fun. They are very, well, to me, they're very sentimental. Um, it may be a different experience to you guys if you ever do one or you have done one, but I, I just love it. I do love it because it's definitely also going to be, um, if I cherish these items, if I find stuff that I'm going to love for myself, then I will pass it on as I like to say, you know, you keep passing it on and passing it on and passing it on and it will keep going to generations and hopefully will last in generations where it will not end up in the landfill. It can be in your family forever or it can be passed on to someone else who will really love it and cherish it. So that's what I love about estate sales and also because there's a lot of vintage stuff. If you find vintage stuff, oh my gosh, the best. So that is the end of today's video, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this estate sale haul. Let me know in the comments below what item out of everything caught your eye the most. I would love to hear from you guys. Until next time, this is Daniel from Second Chance. Love you guys. Wishing you a wonderful week. Until next time. Adios.